Hello and thanks for watching this series of videos on Acumatica 2020 R2. So in this video we're going to show you a new enhancement to import scenarios. So one of the challenges we have in processing import scenarios is that when we get an error message for a record, we get a simple error message here and we have to thumb through it and try and figure out where and what column we need to solve the problem. If we go over to Acumatica 2020 R1, we can take a look at that example and we mark this one active. We only want this one active right now. Could toggle all of them if we wanted to. But if I make a change, for example, to the customer ID and then I try to import, Acumatica gives us an error message here in this error column. However, now with 2020R2, I just do the same thing here and mess up the customer ID. We'll toggle activation in this case and just check this one, a little bit of a shortcut, and we import. Acumatica now shows us the error right here. Now the other thing is, is in 2020R2, Acumatica has improved the performance. So let's take a look at that. If we check off records 3 through 12, and we unmark record 2, and import, you can see it's only 8 seconds. Now if we go over to 2020R1, we select these records active. We'll uncheck this one because we don't have the right customer ID. And we run the import. You can see it's nine seconds. So about a second longer for 10 records. Pretty good. Now if we go back and put on parallel processing, so to do that we go to our import scenario profile. We check it here, Parallel Processing. We'll go back and refresh. Notice Parallel Processing is turned on. And we uncheck these process records because we want it to import again. You may also notice that as I check these process tabs, this is very slow in previous versions of Acumatica. It actually takes uh, several milliseconds, maybe a half a second to uncheck these records, particularly if you have a lot of records. So this performance has been greatly enhanced as well. And this time we turn on all records. You can see it stopped after a minute 22. Now to see where it went, I'll click on process and I'll check false just to see what record it stopped at. We got 59 records in, and then we got some error messages. By the way, you'll notice, again, customer ID, the customer credit limit has been exceeded. And if we scroll to the right, you can see other things. For example, the order quantity, this will result in negative availability. So Acumatic is giving us a lot of additional information. But back to performance, a minute 22 for 59 records. Now, if we go back to 2020 R1, and we run the same thing, now this took three minutes and four seconds, and if we check false here for process, find out the last record it stopped on, it got to 145 records. And if we take a look, I put the numbers on a spreadsheet. So 2020 R1 did 145 records in 184 seconds. So this is about the records per second. And 2020 R2 did 59 records in 82 seconds. And this is the records per second, so about a 9% improvement. And again, if we go back, you'll also notice we didn't get very good error logging here on these two records. So that's import scenario improvements. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.